As we all know, Mili City was developed in a low-lying area. It is vulnerable to flooding during heavy rains and hurricanes. The existing system of canals established in the early 1900s has not been expanded to keep pace with the expansion of the city into lower areas. Ongoing problems in the city which include unplanned development, blockage of sea outfalls, and dumping of trash into canals and drains only worsens the situation. Recurrent floodings disrupt traffic, damage to city's infrastructure, and causes significant economic losses. In short, flooding jeopardizes the health safety and overall quality of life for the city's inhabitants. Our project conducted a risk assessment study of Belize City which confirms that the flooding problem will only get worse with time due to climate change impacting sea level rise and the intensity of storms. It recommends the construction of levees to derive the flooding of the Belize River to the sea southwest of the city. When I moved behind here, there were barely any houses. The street was one of the worst spots. You had a lot of potholes. Some spots you couldn't even pass when you had a little high tide. Teníamos un un cruzadero allá para cruzar. No se podía usar aquí porque cuando el tiempo de creciente está aquí da el agua. In 2011, the bank approved a loan, a 10 million dollar loan, for the government of Belize, principally aimed at improving and protecting the city's road infrastructure in some of the main areas of the city, focusing on the Belama area. The government of Belize um, contributed 750,000 US dollars for the civil works. The objective of the project was to rehabilitate the drainage and the canal system in Belize in order to alleviate the flooding problem we are witnessing. Our unit was able to execute 15 major civil works projects under the program, all within the original budget and time frame. Today, we have more green areas, bike paths, nice sidewalks and paved streets, and fewer disruption due to flooding. In addition, this project created more than 350 jobs for Belize City. We were able to get the approval to do additional works. Um, I'm standing on one right here. We also had the clearing, the cleaning of additional uh, canals in the area that was not a part of the original project. The City Council will benefit from a million US dollars worth of heavy equipment including a sludge truck, including an asphalt machine, street sweepers and this will build the capacity of the municipality to be able to maintain the civil works and to be able to discharge more effectively our responsibility to deal with the cleaning of the city's drains and the maintenance of the works. During hurricane oil and in major rainfalls, the upgrades help to reduce the overall effects of damage caused by flood waters, particularly after hurricane oil, which hit Belize with wind speeds of up to 80 miles per hour and storm charges of up to 6 feet in some areas of Belize City. Thanks to the program, flood waters receded quickly to roadside drains and canals and there is less damage to homes and businesses. This has led to increased property values in some Belama neighborhoods. You know, so people like old ladies and children who have to walk in the water now, it's so better for say that you have a better sidewalk, higher sidewalk than the street. For experience something so bad to something so excellent, are like, are the best thing. Building a city that is resilient to the impacts of flooding and climate change is a community initiative that everyone in the city must work together to ensure that they take ownership of our city. The city is not the streets or the buildings, the city is the people. And if we want to build a sustainable city, that will include cooperation from all sectors, especially individual residents and members of the community. Each individual within the city can be an agent for change in ensuring that this project has the impact that it was intended and that Belize City is a more sustainable uh, city that promotes a better quality of life for everybody.